I'm in love, I'm in love with A. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Ore Adeniji. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you need to leave a comment, please leave a comment for me. I would always read my comments and respond to you as soon as I see it. So today we'll be talking about relationship. Yeah, relationship. And um, straight into the video. If you've not seen my previous videos, please ensure you watch it. Like just try to watch it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I just watch those videos. I feel like you get one or two things from it. So it's because I love you guys. I'm telling you to watch those videos. And don't forget to like as well when you are done watching the videos. Like just leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. And then if I, but just don't forget to watch and share with whosoever you think needs to watch the video. I said earlier, we're talking about relationship. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Hey. So yes, being in love with an unbeliever. Like you see that sometimes even like as a believer, you feel like uh, because we've heard or we've seen people say that you can't fall, you can't choose who you fall in love with. My dear, when it comes to choosing who you fall in love with, you can choose. You have to do with something that's outside the will of God for you. So you have just confirmed now that that's not the will of God for you to date an unbeliever or to get married to an unbeliever. I hope you understand that a believer is not just someone that is... And someone can say they actually believe in jesus but you're not seeing the fruit of the spirit in that person like you're not seeing the fruit the bible says by their fruit you shall know them and a fruit is something that comes out of a tree and we see jesus as a tree so we are coming out of jesus so if you are coming out of a tree and you're not bearing forth the fruit, it's obvious sign that this person is not from the tree so the person can say i believe in god and you're not seeing this fruit in the person is obvious that this is not the will of god for you get a lot of people say things like i can change him i can change her she's changing it's not like she's not a believer it's just that she does not just believe in the holy spirit she does not believe that jesus is coming back soon but she believed that jesus came or he believed that jesus came to this world to die things like that or i'm trying to make him understand these things you now by doing bible study together it's just i just love him you know i just i just love him and i'm like guy guy these things like very obvious you know like the Holy Spirit to keep giving you this promise that what you're doing is wrong, but because you feel like I, I can't choose who I fall in love with. I can't. One thing I'll tell you is anything that is not in line with God's will for you is totally off it, and that's not God's will for you. And it's not because it's for the benefit of God, like it's also for your benefit. Like, how would you feel if you are praying and then you come to a point in the night where you are praying and your partner is like, What's this that you are speaking? Like, why are you disturbing me? Like, what's all these things that you should have been able to prevent yourself by not even entering the relationship in the first place? I'm not even talking about people that have already entered. Like, it's a different thing if you guys entered as an unbeliever. Like, you got married as an unbeliever and then you probably give your life to Christ. I can't say you should divorce your husband. You can't divorce your husband. You're going to, like, stay there. But you, this one, you have not, you are not married. You're just dating. Or you, and, or you are dating and you have plans to get married that sort of thing so that's what i'm talking about like you know within you that you're not supposed to be with this person you know within you that there's a lot of there's a lot of value differences there's a lot of understanding gap not just understanding gap in say i i i don't like rice being hard i like rice being soft not that type of thing like biblical understanding gap and the meaning I feel like there's a need for me to explain to not be unequally yoked so not equally yoked is you guys are not synchronized like you're not together you're not your thinking pattern is spiritual thinking pattern is different your values different there is nothing that is right like totally different forget love like you need to take away the veil of your eyes and see that you can't be in love whatever feeling it is like it's not right for you so once it's not right for you, you know that like, it's, it's 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 not even something to think about whatever feeling it is now you need to dead it like kill it kill it because if you think or when you begin to think that i can change this person it will get to a point like what's the assurance or what's the probability or what's the possibility that the, the other person cannot change you so many things that the person can probably twist your brain on and you because of love like you know how we feel like love can 
try to amend things. Like it's really not worth it. That's it. It's just not worth it. So once you see the person has already come to ask you out, like I love you, you're beautiful, you are blah blah blah. I feel like whatever it is, we can have a proper connect, whatever. And you check one or two things that like ah this one does not even match. Like there is no need for you to even say I'll think about it. The answer is no. If you have been thinking maybe this is a message, it's a message for you. Like the answer is proper no. Do not stress yourself. Just go back to the person like no. The person ask why. Just no. It's not that's not the will of God for me right now. Like it's not even the will of God for you in the future. You it doesn't want you to be unequally joked with someone that does not believe, someone that is not of the same faith with you because you guys are going to have problems. It's the legit truth. It's like you're too precious. Calm down. Fall in love with there are plenty there are plenty of people that love God in this world. <laughs> like legit believers. So you need to understand that there is a man for you, there is a woman for you, there's a woman from God for you. If you're the person you love is saying, um I'm, I, I know I'm going to get better when we get married and I'm going to love God better. Like, I feel, I, I, I would just advise that it's better for the person to, you know, do it. So let you guys just go your separate ways. Let him be learning God. Let him learn God. Let him understand God himself. I'm not saying you should train him. You are not a coach. If you want to even train him, don't train him in the relationship. You guys should be separated. You should know that they have nothing to do with this person. They are just helping this person. Like it's not that you now say that I would I can change this person. You can't change anybody. Even you, even me, was really spirit that helped us. So if you feel like as a man or as a lady, you can change a person, it's just a waste of time. You want to change an adult? <sighs> don't give yourself a necessary dick. Like just wait for the Holy Spirit. Like begin to kill the fire because you need something to keep the fire burning. Like you need to let the fire continue burning on the altar, not to kill, not to kill it. It was really serious in the Old Testament, like in Deuteronomy verse, um, chapter seven, verse, verse three. You should not um, give your wife, your son, or your daughter out to marry. Not give your children out in marriage to people that know that they are not of your nation. They don't have the same understanding of like me as in God. Like they don't. They worship other gods. Like, do not do that to your children. Do not give them out. Because if you give them out, you would, they would destroy you in the sense that you start, you step, you start English. In the sense that you start serving their gods. And not just that. It's not only the destruction that will come on you. God is also going to destroy you because it's that serious. It's that serious. So we're going to take it as a big deal. You can't say, I'm in love with this person because there are no Christian guys out there. I'm in love with this person because Christian guys are not being Christian guys. As, I'm, as I give the example that you don't, it's we that give the definition of Christian. What's the chance that the person, the people they are calling Christian guys are actually the Christian guys? Like, you need to be able to understand the differences. As long as you're not seeing a fruit, then of course, I don't know why we need to put that tag. There's no need for you to put that tag. I just, because the person is going to church does not mean the person is a christian i hope it's really clear this video i hope i've been able to answer your questions do not fall in love close your eyes and you see the person they enter your eyes close them go wash your eyes like go go and wash your eyes don't don't don't, don't see that type of thing don't don't even go near it don't even smell it so i think it's um your right language i'll say food that you don't want to eat you don't smell it like don't don't go near it don't let the person twist you but no matter how cute how fine how caring, how whatever it is, person strain you off your feet, whatever it is, do not smell it. We've come to the end of today's video. I hope answered your questions. You don't forget to like, subscribe, share this channel with whoever needs this video. Thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao.